Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Toshiba laptop, tablet, or desktop computer. So if you notice a startup is slow, or your computer is just generally unresponsive, or you're getting a lot of error messages while just doing normal everyday computer tasks, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a lot of them without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up the search icon and you want to type in power plan. Best results should come back up edit power plan. Go ahead and select that. You want to go and select power options up at the top here. And then underneath preferred plans, you want to select high performance. If you do not see high performance here, you might have to expand show additional plans. And you want to set it to high performance. Favors performance but may use more energy. This is more relevant if you're going to be using a laptop over a desktop computer. So you would go ahead and select that. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Something else I'd recommend trying here too would be to open up the search menu. Search for services. Best match to come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to search for the SYS main service. So S-Y-S-M-A-I-N. It's formerly known as Superfetch on Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers, as well as earlier versions of Windows 10, but later in Windows 10 and now in Windows 11, it's called SysMain. So go ahead and locate that here and double click on it. You want to stop the service if it's running and you also want to set startup type to disabled. Select apply and okay. Close out of here. Something else you also want to do here is right click on the start button and select task manager. Select the startup tab and disable applications you do not need to start every time your computer starts. So generally, unless it's an antivirus or if you're using Microsoft OneDrive or Dropbox, for example, you may want to keep those as exceptions on. Otherwise, you can turn most of them off here. So that's something else to take a look at. Also, once you guys to open up the search, type in disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And you're going to go ahead and select cleanup system files here. And go ahead and select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select delete files. And then once that's done, go ahead and open up the search again. Type in defrag. Best results should come back with defragment and optimized drives. Go ahead and open that up. Select your main hard drive here where Windows is installed on. You can select other drives as well. And just go ahead and select it and then the optimize button. If you're on an HDD or hard disk drive, you can go ahead and just run a full defrag. If you're on SSD, it'll just optimize it. But you can see it was pretty quick in our case. In your case, you're probably going to have to wait a few minutes. So you may want to just pause the video until that's finished. And you can close out of here again. Something else as well you can try. Open up the search. Type in adjust. Best match or come back with adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. And you can select adjust for best performance. Please note that when you select apply, some of the display settings may appear different. So if you want to enable certain features, you can select custom and then check mark certain boxes and kind of play around with it until you get the exact settings you want. So if you want certain graphical features to still be, appear, you can pick somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be completely one way or the other. You can have some features enabled, but you don't necessarily have to have them all turned on. So again, pretty straightforward on that as well. And one final thing I want to try here as well would be to just run the system file checker utility, see if there are any errors on your hard drive. And you know what, when you resolve errors, it usually will improve your computer performance. So in order to run that, go ahead and open up the search magnify icon, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that should have been able to improve your experience of your Toshiba device. And you've improved your speed as well as startup speed if you're having different issues with performance or you're hanging on different applications. Hopefully this was able to help resolve the problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out getting your Toshiba computer faster. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.